Hey guys, it's True Tony here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change uh, aftermarket radio on a 2008 Subaru Impreza Outback Sport. Uh, this car is a pain to buy parts for, as it's the Outback Impreza and the Outback Sport together, obviously. So to get started, we have this all disassembled already. Very fun stuff. But the original setup is going to have this cover right here. Okay, like that. And then we have... The old radio right here, which will be on the inside, like, uh, you know, already hooked up and everything. So I already did this uh, last week, um, but I had to get another wiring harness from the company because two of these wires pulled out. So I got everything all here and yeah so it's all wired up and ready to go. But this is just for instructional purposes. I have the Hi Kitty. Uh, radio it's seven by four which is what this car is originally i bought a 10 by four like an idiot i know there's videos out there where you can change that but i just wanted to keep it um as oem as possible to get started you're gonna need a wiring harness for uh what your this specific car the problem with mine i went to amazon and i got mine uh and it said it fit my car but it did not unfortunately so i went to o'reilly's and they had one the next day this one, uh, it's, it'll say for Subaru only. And you can see that barely. But make sure you get that specific one. I uh, went to O'Reilly's. Advanced did not have any. So uh, if you can't find that, look exactly in Google. That's actually helped me a lot before. And um, yeah, so let's get started with what you guys will need. So to get started, these are the tools that I have. I have, which is, well, this is going to help you a lot. I don't know if there's any other ways of cutting wires or such, but the obviously wire cutter tool uh, to pinch the top, the cut in the middle, and then to pry the, the connection off. Uh, and this is a trim tool that I have. Others, people you can use flatheads, that's fine, but I use it to take off this trim part. And last but not least, I have this plastic trim tool as well, so I don't damage the, the actual paint. Uh, of this car and obviously the radio and the mounting hardware which i got from amazon i'll put a link of those in the description but the problem that i have with mine is that so i stick it up here and you can see it looks like it barely fits like it would it would theoretically fit but every but when i put the radio up uh, it just doesn't fit i'll show you guys after what it looks like in the completion but as of right now this is just preparation uh so to start obviously you take your trim tool and this stuff around and trim off the sides i know i'm making it look stupid easy because it's already done and then you take it off uh, bam or shit like that and then you'll see the original radio which is right here already wired in and stuff you just unscrew these bolts to this on the side you'll see there's one two three four and then you just take them out pull it out the wiring it'll the back look like that just because you're curious and the last owner of this car was actually he had subs but then he had to take them out because he was telling me the car obviously and i didn't want the subs because he said they were starting to go whatever anyways so back here it looks like a wiring harness mess he already did it himself but normally it would just look like cords and then these are the basic components. You will only need be needing this unless you have the the radio controls, which I do not have because I, it was extra seventy five bucks, and I don't really use these that much. So, if you guys need help with that, I'm um, sure there's another video. But as of right now, I don't, I can't help you with that. So that's un, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, these two, I no, we're not doing anything with them as of right now. So, so you guys know. I also forgot to mention, like an idiot, that you'll also be needing these little connectors. These little ones you can get from Walmart, like two bucks a box. Um, the connections go on the inside. These, where the heck is one, for example, right here. The end of these will go into the ends and stick in like that. It's kind of blurry and stuff. But as soon as you do that, you get clamp them down. The clamp tool, and then... Just keep doing that with each connection i know it's kind of it's basically just color matching uh just make sure you get the exact colors uh because there is like gray with black line you can see that 
gray with the black line to make sure they line up with that because if it's a mismatch and some stuff won't work like i blew it well i didn't i thought i blew on my right speaker but i didn't because i we i the wire popped out like like i'm an idiot so i fixed it it's all good now and i'll show you guys in a few minutes what it looks like so you don't need to con disconnect your battery for this as this is just plugging it in um everything's all set up so you plug it in via just the way you if you'll feel it hear that pop dirt hold on one second let's see if i can do this with two hands here you go all good but I, what i did is i tested the connection the connections to make sure they didn't pop out so as soon as you plug it in you drive hit a bump they don't pop out right away so you're you're still good to go so if you're doing a different radio um as like a seven by four uh maybe a little bigger uh or smaller whichever you got and if it still fits it's good but this is what it, look, it should look like all the wires are tucked back here and it looks like it should mount in the middle there the mounting brackets go on the side i'm going to do that in a minute i'm going to unplug the hardware and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so we have the mounting hardware for the sides what i like to do before stick everything on is to test it to see which way it goes where so this goes over here on the side so respect to the radio it should look like that my arms are in the way but look like that okay so next part is obviously stick the hardware uh onto the actual radio via these holes there's these sh these little bolts should pop off these little um, screws not to uh, the screws <laughs> the shoot screws should come off and then you could just uh, screw them into here the hardware should come off of that uh i believe you can use the oem hardware but i just got this aftermarket just just to be safe uh so find all these little millions of holes you find a connection you just stick it in and obviously just screw it on and they do it the same with the other side okay so it should look like this in the end uh i had this side backwards because i'm a i'm an idiot but well we learned together um because that's what we do here so you'll see it's what it looks like on the side and in the final uh and then we got to put these screws back on and then i'll show you guys what i'm talking about when it comes to this piece i believe it's for the single din but uh this is a double ding radio so i'll have to reach out to the manufacturer you guys can find a better uh a more fitting hardware uh that'd be recommended but i, I don't really, i'm not really pick, too picky right now as it, it works it stays in place and it has apple carplay so you know that's all i really care about at this point okay so it's all screwed in and stuff and here is the mounting hardware the cover which is well too small uh to reach the side it should clip in like that to the side uh but it doesn't because it's see it's in here but it would just it just pops out over here so whatever not really too worried about it because it still looks okay without it anyways plus it doesn't really move around too much my pro if it does move around i did have this problem before just tighten the screws on the side when you mount it uh i can only fit one on each because this this is well whatever it works so the side's kind of popping out you see and the side's not so i mean just do your best the best you can if it works that's all that really matters all right now i've got the cover on i just gotta pop it all in make sure everything's popped everything's good nope oh, don't play ground oh the hazard sorry all right well and then we test it out turn my bluetooth off all right so you put the cover back on obviously and then you have it in all oh, mounted and everything i gotta fix this top part but after that it'll be good uh so this is the high kitty aftermarket radio um and this is like just a little bit of a review it's a i've had it for about a week or two now uh it's been pretty solid pretty good radio uh it's got the home button get the bluetooth set up the settings which is uh it's one of the cool parts uh you can change the where the sound's coming from right hand left hand back front whatever and it's got apple carplay which is right here uh not android so but it does have you can have google maps on your phone it'll come up as that and then of course you got all this 
fun other stuff. I took out the radio, so that's basically useless. I don't even know what the A-Link is, and some SD card, which you can plug in right here. Volume key is right here. You can also change the Bluetooth connect on it. Mean. There's, oh, the key light right here. Perfect. The key light right there. Uh, no, nope. key light, different colors, which is probably one of the cool parts, except they uh, misspelled uh, <laughs> quite a few things. It's kind of funny uh, if you think about it. And when you connect to it, it's a Japanese voice. So, if I mean, that's just a little thing to note. Like, it's not really a big, much of a big difference, but it's just kind of a weird thing that comes up. Um, I'll show you guys Apple CarPlay. Let's see if I can actually work this. Just get your cord, plug it into the old USB port. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Let me, it lets me still film my CarPlay. All right. All right, so here's the CarPlay. Um, damn, whatever. That's my town. Who cares? Uh, and then we got the music that we're playing. And all these different apps. I have uh, Google Maps messages. Uh, you can set it to so that when you're driving, it doesn't, nobody disturbs you or whatever. But the only problem with that is that you can't use your phone at all. So that's interesting. Appearance, automatic, turns it from bright to dark, whatever. So it's all the basic stuff. It's a really good cheap radio um, that I found on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. But uh, I heavily enjoy it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, helped you out a little bit, helped you up a lot, um, just leave a comment. If you own a 2000, whatever, Subaru and Press Outback Sport, um, comment down below or just add me on Instagram. We can talk about it. And if you have any other questions, maybe I got questions too because I've had this for my last car was in a 2004 Outback Sport. This is a 2008. So, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, but uh, I'll see you guys next time.